Okay, <clears throat> today I will cover uh, rates in this video. For chapter 3, I've covered ratio in my previous uh, video. <clears throat> so let's see the learning outcome for rates. You need to learn how to write rates as fractions. Same as ratio, we will be using our calculators. You need to find unit rate, where for each unit, what's the rate? Alright, and you will find the best buy. Finding the best buy meaning which will be the best uh, option for you to buy, which will be the most economical option. All right, so let's look at rates. Rates uh, is a ratio that compares two measurements with the same unit. Okay, a ratio is the one that what we did earlier was two units, same units. If it's not the same, you make it the same to compare, right? All right, well, for rates, it is different. The units are different, all right? Ratio, we compare same units. Rates is two different units, all right? Example, $180, $160 for 8 hours. Miles on gallons, distance to capacity, that sort of thing, all right? So here you got to watch the units. Since they are two different units, these are rates, and you got to write the units down, okay? So how do you recognize rates? You will see words like in, for, on, per, and from. Like 380 ringgit per night. That's a hotel rate, right? Uh, let's say we're talking about an air flight rate of 560 ringgit per person this is a rate understand and rates always must have units so write each rate as a fraction in the lowest form rm6 for 30 packages so it's rm 1 over 5 per package or rm 20 cents per package you need to find one package how much 500 miles in 10 hours one hour how much that is how you find rate in the lowest form or in other words we also call this unit rate 500 miles in 10 hours 50 miles per hour four teachers for, for 90 students one student how many teachers so four over 90 all right 1270 bushels for 30 acres all right how many acres uh, how many bushels each acre so 42 one third bushels per acre so you just divide both of it and you'll be able to get all right, so unit rate is when the denominator is one. Like what we did earlier actually is each is how much, all right? For an example, 2.75 one hour, that is a unit rate. Okay, you can use a slash or you can use per, it's up to you. So let's find this, 4.35 for three pounds of cheese. So what's the unit rate? One pound of cheese is how much? So it's 1.45 per pound. 304 miles or 9.5 gallons of gas. One gallon of gas, how much? 32 miles per gallon. 8.50 in five days, one day how much? 170 per, per day. 24 pounds of turkey for 15 people, one person how much? So 24 divide 15, 1.6. So let's look at Best Buy. What is Best Buy? The lowest cost per unit, the lowest unit rate. That means this, the lowest that you can example students always make mistake here okay so now if you look at this there are three sizes here of bottles okay of syrup 12 ounces 1.25 24 ounces 1.81 36 ounces 2. Point. so it doesn't mean that the biggest is always the cheapest how do you find which is the cheapest you first of all need to find each ounce how much all right that means each ounce how much Okay, so you're going to compare the unit cost. So always divide price over quantity. Always remember money over quantity. Money is always on top. Students always get this upside down. Money on top, quantity on the bottom. Why? Because you want to find each unit of quantity is how much. All right, and you round it to the nearest thousand. Thousand is three decimal places if necessary. So let's look at this. See, money over quantity. First one, 1.28 divide 12. Second one, money over quantity, 1.81 divide 24. Third one, 2.73 divide 36. It is always money over quantity, not the other way around. Always. All right? So you get 0 0.107. Why do I say that you have to put it in three decimal places? It's because if the second and third one, you put it in two decimal places, you cannot see which one is cheaper. You see, zero, both will be 0 0.08. How do you compare which is the cheapest? So that is why when required, you've got to put it in three. If it's not required, you can leave it at two. That's not a problem. Okay? So the, which would be the cheapest? It would be the second one. The 24-ounce bottle is the best buy because it has the lowest cost per ounce or the lowest unit weight. Because they will ask, always ask you to choose and state why. You must state why. Stating why is one mark. So your why can just be 
because it has the lowest unit weight and it is accepted. All right. Okay, same goes to the rest. Uh, the best buy will be four quarts. How do you do it? Always money divide quantity. 3.25 divide 2, 4.95 divide 3. Always money divide quantity. Please don't get it the other way around because students always do it upside down. All right, this one, the 12 cans will be the best buy. So you can finish solution 3. Point, I mean exercise 3.2 now. These are the solutions for it. Um, you go through it one by one. If you have any issues, you can ask me. All right, I will help you. I'll just go through question three, which is always, uh, students are always confused about it. I don't know why. Okay, the table uh, list information about three long distance calling cards. The connection fee is charged each time you make a call, no matter how long the call lasts, all right? So now let's look at this cost per minute and connection fee. So find the actual total cost, including connection charge for five minutes call. So five minutes call how? Radian penny is 0 0.01, right? Per minute. So 0 0.01 times five plus connection fee is only one time. You can speak for five hours, so connection fee is standard. All right. Same goes to the second and third. You times five and plus connection fees. The cost per minute for this five. Uh, now you're finding unit rate. So you just take the same value on top there. The cost per minute will be 0 0.44 for the first one, divide 5. The second one is 0 0.25, right? The cost for the 5 minutes, charge, you take 0 0.25, divide 5. 0 0.235, you divide 5. So the best buy will be AA, which is Access America. It's the cheapest option, all right? Find the actual total cost for a 30-minute call. So you're going to do the same thing, times 30 plus connection fee for each one and find the cost. Now you're going to find which is the best buy. So you'll use part three, basically, you will divide it by 30 to find the cost per minute for each call, which shouldn't be a problem. Okay, all the calls round up calls up to the next two minute, meaning if I make a call and I only speak for 20 seconds, they will still charge me for one minute. That is what it means. Understand, if I make a call and I'm only going to talk for, let's say, 40 seconds, they will still charge me for one minute. So suppose you call the wrong mark number, how much would you pay for a 40 second call? So yes, Radiant Penny will charge 0 0.01 because one minute is that's the charge plus connection fee. Understand? IDT Special will do the same. They'll charge you 0 0.022 because it will round off to one minute. Then you plus the connection fee. Access America will do the same thing and you plus the connection. But Access America got no connection fee. Huh? So Access America only 0 0.047. Okay, how much would you save on this call by using Access America instead of Radiant Penny? So you just minus 0 0.047 minus 0 0.162. All right, so that is about it uh, for rates. Okay, the next video will be on proportion.